six days before the Invictus Games get underway in Toronto. The symbolic flag that has journeyed across Canada for 37 days from Victoria to Gander made a couple of pit stops in Ontario today. A small group came out to cheer runners as the flag wound its way through downtown Toronto. The sporting competition was founded by Prince Harry in 2014 as a way to honour wounded veterans. Former soldiers from 17 countries will participate when the event opens next Saturday. The Invictus flag also made an appearance earlier in the day at the 10th annual Canada Army Run in Ottawa. And despite the oppressive 29 degree heat, almost 21,000 people, veterans, injured soldiers and just plain folk came out to show their support for wounded warriors, including the Prime Minister. The money raised goes to help military families. Here's CTV's Annie Bergeron Oliver. Just a reminder to the... Under uh, the scorching the September sun. Cannon fire sending a sea of 22,000 runners on a tour of Ottawa for the annual Canada Army Run. All the high rank and officers that come to support, just all the military people in general that come here, as with the civilians to show support, so I really enjoy it. Some lace up with a goal in mind. We walk a couple of it, but uh, we didn't stop today. While others, like Donna Campo, just happy to be here. I've got a back fracture, but I really wanted to run. Uh, this means a lot to me. The money raised goes to support ill and injured military members and their families who play an active and motivating role in this event. When I see them still, I get choked up. My ex died, he was in the military, so I was like, for him. To celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Canada Army Run, two new races were added. One is the Vimy Challenge, requiring all participants to finish a 5-kilometer and 10-kilometer race. The other is called the Commander Challenge, and all of the runners do a 5K followed by a half marathon. These new challenges, an opportunity to push limits. First 5K right on the money, so uh, we're good. Now the 10K will take it down a little bit and take it easy. It's the first time they've done something like this, I thought I'd give it a shot. For Chris Cook, who was born without fully developed arms and legs, this half marathon, one of his favourites. And this year, he got to meet Justin Trudeau, the first Prime Minister to run in the race. It's pretty cool. Um, kind of, you feel a lot of national pride, you know, just being in, being, being in you know, capital city and, you know, old Canada. Here, the focus on chip time, largely overshadowed by a sense of pride for the military. Annie Bergeron-Oliver, CTV News, Ottawa.